Hi folks, uh, it's good to be with you. This is uh, Jason uh, of Royal Blood Ministries and uh, we're doing a video uh, today on JC Ryle. And JC Ryle, if you can see there, that's a picture of JC Ryle, who was uh, an Anglican minister. And we're outside a Church of England church here today. JC Ryle was born uh, in Cheshire in 1816. He was educated at Eton and Oxford with the intention that he should follow his father as a wealthy landowner and member of Parliament. But in 1838, during his last year at Oxford, Ryle was converted. In 1841, he entered the Christian ministry. For three years, he labored in Hampshire. Then from 1844 to 1888, he ministered in country parishes in Suffolk, first at Helmingham, then at Stradbourne. Here he mastered the great literature of the Reformers and Puritans and wrote between 200 and 300 tracts. By the 1870s, his trenchant pen, bold preaching and fearless adherence to scripture had earned him recognition as one of the most forceful leaders in the Church of England. In 1880, he became the first Bishop of Liverpool from whence he retired in March 1900. So this is one of J.C. Ryle's books. The Five English Reformers. Another book that he wrote was On Holiness, which you can get free on PDF or you can buy at Evangelical Press. Another book that he wrote, a number of books, are on the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, and these are classics. Now why am I recommending G.C. Ryle? The church is losing its spiritual power, it's losing its spiritual grip. And until we get back to the old truths that these great preachers believed in, the truth that the Bible is the Word of God, the truth that we need the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the truth that we need to get out and do mission. These are great truths that J.C. Ryle stood for and he trained many ministers. So I would encourage you, all of you today, get hold of J.C. Ryle's books, read them, devour them. As if you're a pastor, get hold of his books, devour them. You can get them free on PDF if you Google his name and read him. As pastors you will be inspired, as preachers you'll be inspired, but in your congregations, pass the books around throughout the whole of your nation. These books will bless your nation, they will bless your churches, and they will bless your ministry, I guarantee. So thank you for listening, and God bless you. Amen.